now when I'm looking at Malawi at the moment, we are losing a lot of involvement. If we are not careful enough as a country, Malawi will never look the same. This beauty will go. So it should start with us. For Sanguira is an environmental activist. He wants to save Malawi's already endangered fish from total extinction. But it won't be easy. When I'm looking at Malawi at the moment, we are losing a lot of involvement. I know where I'm coming from. I know how much uh, involvement we used to have, and I know where we are today, and I can foresee where Malawi is uh, uh, driving to. It's an internal worry that I have. I always share this to my children, because I would really like to impart this in the, with the young ones who are the future of of Malawi. A beautiful afternoon on Lake Malawi. But beneath the surface, a looming environmental catastrophe lies in wait. In the water and on land. Malawi's ecosystem is now at a tipping point, a result of decades of overfishing and deforestation. My name is Fosungwira. I'm coming from a, a fishing family. My father used to be a fisherman uh, because I'm born along the Lake Malawi, in north of uh, Malawi, in Rogue District. But in the north of Malawi, where force comes from, there's still hope. And that hope relies largely on the country's youth. Force is an environmentalist and the Malawian head of a small NGO called Ripple Africa. In Kadabe district, we have a number of environmental problems. There have been a high loss of fish in Lake Malawi. That is uh, due to immigration of fishermen. And uh, the other cause of this uh, fish shortage in the lake is usage of uh, mosquito nets. These are under fishing gears. This morning, normally being Monday, I have a very uh, small meeting with my staff members. My international director, Jeff Faber, is now in the country. He comes to Malawi twice every year. So I'm also meeting him this morning. Hi, Paul. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very fine. And yourself? I'm very well. Good, Good to see you. Um, nice to see you again. Well, yeah. I must congratulate you. The uh, Fisheries, World Fisheries Day was fantastic. As a Rip Africa, we succeed and other organizations fail because of the approach we are using as an organization. Uh, most of the organization, the approach is uh, top to bottom. Uh, while our approach is bottom to top, 
Projects are not owned by Ripple, they are owned by the community themselves because they are the direct beneficiaries of the natural resources. Today, they're working on how best to explain the dangers of mosquito net fishing in the simplest way possible. I've been sort of looking at this and I think the, the message that we want to get to the people of Malawi is that mosquito net fishing like this has got to stop. In this uh, Safria cooking pot here, there are probably about 2,000 little baby yeah. fish. Yes. But if you could let them grow, they would grow to, to this size here. When they catch the young, young jumbo uh, in this safria, uh, that means, you know, it's not just minimizing the amount of money that they, they can make, but it is also killing the fish that could be produced for future fish. Absolutely. Today, Force's method is being put to the test. He's visiting a traditional community that knows nothing about fish conservation. So challenging because, you know, I'm going to target the fishermen who have grown up uh, with fish destruction. So it's not easy. Yes, Yes, for the villagers of Ingala, catches of full-sized fish are a fading memory. Okay. Yeah. Um. In the Zinalanga, the ne forcing guida. Ndi makala onkata be. Ndi maguida nchito kuri po Africa. Although the fishermen have agreed to meet, it's clear from the atmosphere that force has much convincing to do. Ah, <laughs> Okay. 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 To illustrate the damage caused by overfishing, Force does a demonstration. He starts by showing how fishing used to be done. So, we have to come to come up a joke by joke. So, ten TMB will come up a joke by joke is not in a very good. You babengi somber. In which I may not come on your four. You babengi. You babengi. So, ten TMB. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Can we stop? Okay. So yeah. So Kumba papi follow to call a mosquito net. Apati miride mnyako wa koli uku. Then apati nda four inches. So ui ni mulovi. So ma imu na imu imi. Mwanyitu imu wenda neti pa pandas. So imu imu nda mosquito net. Isi tinda five inches. 
sota ponya hata kumba mguguza tuguguzi somba okay ukole kwa mapeto jonje chirepa ich ndi ich choji bayeng somba ndi ninje masunga safi aha nchifukwa uli ichi 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 baecha so ndu tukuyo ya nkani zi ato yo ya mberi para kuti zida zinyaki zitu ugwirisa nchitu ndi zuwe micha chifuka dangula somba nda kutipara ya baba kuti zawesu inyaki ndi kuti ikuli ibabesu wananyaki yanga pamafumu pankani nda yo ya pa imunga wa nda fumbolo nde manga ali ese pa nundi tuwa kutaku imfa kunobuinu koma futo limene lilipo ndira kuti ifeyo tilipano mm. ndi chirengedwe chiri maximum ndi mm. felsiana mm. eh ifetine na zina chirengedwe so chikuta chiku chikupanga zina eh kena kwata lenga munthu anamuza kuti ndai ka chirengedwe pa dziko la pansi ukagwirisa nchito na samalira ifetu tinapa sidwa odindo gwirisa nchito ndi kusamalira but it's not the only objection koma mende konela ndi nalo masiku anjara Chifanda huyo sasa munga mwe sio kwa juni, zasoa kwa mbili soko sisi maone kwaone kwa, ndeme na na soko sisi yamba po hizi, na rangi tapesa mwe tu pesa tarama, ana tapita usukuru, apusi, chifanda benji yuko pesa la chini pe yuko. Tika gani zeso kuti, nanga mwana wanga, kuka si tu kwa kuno tu sinu kwa kula zaku ina, nyanja ija, gadi pali be, somba pali be, somba pali be ni ondi ni nchi to kujaguli be. Nchito kulibe inundine kujandalama kulibe. Ndi udindu wa inundine. Yeah, th thank you very much. Uh, Jifuga jodi nditu mwa vetela zimene tinabwela nazo. Komaso nditu ifetu kufuna nizabu inozose. This is just the beginning. The next stage is like there will be a number of awareness campaign. We will deliver like each and every community member from this village to understand the project so that they also play a role in, in, in this project. Next day, Force visits an existing Ripple Africa project. He wants to check on their progress. We have identified the uh, eight chamber fish breeding areas. And the, one of these breeding areas is Chiwana breeding area, where uh, they have conserved or protected a lot of young chambo. The project has now been running for two years. The community agreeing not to fish for four months of each year. This allows new fish to breed. Yes, one and a so. A dandara. A dandara, Gwadi. A dandara, Mamba. Master is our own in our sombas. Somba, Pan, and Roro, Mamba. Okay. Zonse is si somba zonkala, yes. Mwona e zonse. Zakula diba na zasia nandikali. Mwadikali robe zi somba zonse ziba no zita ata. Baka adipanu adipali bezi. Ungo ya mbira uko, kupita kwa sepa haba. Kwa sepa. 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 I think it's mainly just on the corner, so the Chifuwa Chia close season. Chifuwa close season, it's got to take a new one, Jerry. You may only can tell your chair, but when my city matter corner, so you go depend on the game of color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the wedding girl, so the close season, it's got to be panga zaka ziwiri. So you can tell your chair, but you can tell your chair, but you can tell your chair, but you can tell your chair. The fishermen now from this area, they are able to report that they used to only to catch five chambo in, 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 in their nets. But this year they are able even to catch up to 70, 75 chambo. So they are very proud of the good job they have done and I think they can see the future of their business here.
For force, solving the problem of overfishing doesn't end with the fishermen. It also affects the businesses in proximity to the lake. So today, he's visiting a business owner who sells fishing gear. Business <laughs> So he's saying he's very much ready to work with Rip Africa, educating people, buying the right gears from their shop. And again, he have also promised us to say he will be only selling the recommended gear that catches the right fish. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Later, Force returns to Chiwana. joining villagers and local policemen on a boat patrol to combat illegal fishing. Okay, let them come. Those, those are the people I've been looking for. I got better and I made my phone. I had to use and I had to buy my car and did you cook at it? She had a car to massacre and I don't say it. With night falling and a vast area to cover, it's uncertain what results the patrol will produce. But this evening, they're in luck. In the very centre of the breeding area, they spot an illegal fishing net. The first thing we're going to do is confiscate the gear, then find the owner. Now begins a game of cat and mouse. Uh, we are going to start from there because he's trying to pull it out. I Despite what will happen if he's caught, the fisherman remains obsessed with retrieving his net. He doesn't seem to realize that he is tonight's catch. But the consequences soon become starkly apparent.
Inu muri ndi ana. Ndi mugani zawu di somba zimu perero. Ana nuko to go lo mugu zawu di so go lo. Ana nuko to go lo somba gati ngakuti. Kulibe. Ndi nchua jana mugu banga zindo zodi zogu tandi zani nunoka. Kena kundo kubeziga zodi bano ba mo. Eya abas. Chua bano ba ndeti katero tamaliza. Mwina tiwa na ngatita sinte kwa manchito ya ikulu ndi mene takwila. The committee escort the illegal fisherman away. He'll spend the night in the police cell. Later, he'll face a fine or even jail time. Ana os amanhã nós vamos dar em dia na praia. Ana o grande nós aí já vou. Tem muita cheiras. Aí o magistrado só vai tomar o guzio. Aí o gambit. For force, it's victories like these that reinforces hope that the lake can still be saved. But overfishing isn't Malawi's only environmental challenge. Deforestation and slash and burn agriculture are decimating the land. Every ten minutes. A forest the size of a football field is cut down. Today, force is visiting a landmark project. 130 square kilometers of forest protected by the local community. The community members uh, do patrols in the hills. That is checking the illegal, uh, illegal practices. And the, what we are going to do is we are going to have a chat because we are just out of uh, bushfire season. So I would like to find out how did it go. We have now arrived in Kandoli. These are the committee members that we are working with. Uh, so they will take us up to Kandoli, Kandoli Hills. <laughs> Force joins a committee of villagers who regularly patrol the forest. They're on the lookout for bushfires and illegal tree felling. Sometimes they set bushfire in the hills, they also burn people's houses. It also bend the young trees, which could be used in future. They clamber up to a vantage point from which they can see the reserve. Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to chop a, a, a live tree in the, the protected area. Once found chopping a tree, the community will take you to, to the chief. They will charge you a fine of 50,000 kwacha. They also discuss how the community's conservation efforts are going. Okay. But away from the protected enclave of Kandoli, the setting of bush clearing fires remains an all too common practice, often with disastrous results. In just a few short minutes, an out of control fire has destroyed a local man's business. Mm. 
and Amacha Motor, good to Kuzikoko, Kukongore, Nakuchi, Lakula Kwambiri, Kuzone Kabuino, and Nakosa Kocha, Kutu Uzirima, eh? The Zoko Kuru, she went down beside the dinner, she chose in the Pangsagano, Kumba, Ozenga, eh, Kwambiri. If Malayans, we are not careful enough, uh, we will turn this country into a desert. I think something is, is, is to be done to change Malawi. But today begins on a happier note. Was there something special planned for his daughter, Grace? Since I started tree planting, I've so far planted about four, four million trees. And I'm very, very excited because uh, all the time I teach my children on the importance of planting and conserving uh, trees. <laughs> Guys, let's go. TN Tika Pandi Chimite. Ketiendite <laughs> Okay, tika kumba chonchi, nde titenge ntengo. Ntengo u, ti uza. Chafewa, nde tieni pano ti uza le limonzi. Taika, nde tichose plastic pepe. Gwira kutinyamule chonchi. Taimani. Now we have a tree that we can see, because when that tree glows, we can still come and see that we planted this tree and this is our tree. So we are very, very excited. Basi, Kapita. Olendo mene, uzukomo kumbiri mazalante ngwede. All the resources, the natural resources in Malawi, they belong to us. It should start with us. These resources that we have today, we are using today, they are not just for the today's Malayans. They are also for the Malayans who are not born. So uh, it should start with us managing or sustainably using our natural resources. Thank you.